welcome to Old Time Knits. This is episode seven. My name is Marie, and I'm coming to you from central New Hampshire. You can find me on Instagram as Old Time Knits and on Ravelry as Old Time Knits. This is my knitting podcast where I talk about all the things that are off my needles, what's on my needles, the future of my needles, places I've visited, people I've seen, things I've acquired, and all the yarny and nitty goodness I can muster. So if this sounds like something you would enjoy, then come on in and let's get started. All right, I thought I would get started with what I am wearing. I am wearing, it's called Bejeweled, and it's by Libby Johnson, who is truly Myrtle. This is a wonderful um, crescent shape it's a smaller shawl. Take it off so you can see it. I loved this project. It was um, a very nice knit. It was um, kept me really, really interested. It's knit sideways and it has some cables and it has beads. Oh, I have never done um, a project with beads, so I was super excited about this. Look at that. Oh is so drapey and so pretty. So this was part of, um, this is a pattern that we did through Libby's uh, program or course called Wardrobe Toolbox. She uh, opens it up to people a few times a year and you can sign up and I learned so much from her. Um, it's a whole course and you learn all about gauge and um, you know, measuring yourself to get the good gauge for sweater knitting and, oh, now I've done it. I've made it just a big mess, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, she's really fantastic. She has a podcast also, and um, she's been around for quite a while. Uh, she's been doing podcasts for quite a few years. Uh, she went off of YouTube for a while, but now she's back on. Uh, but if you get a chance to check out that wardrobe toolbox, it is a fantastic program. It's a paid for course, but uh, it was worth every penny. Um, so the yarn that I'm, um, the yarn that I made this, and I made this um, like a year or so ago, maybe a little bit more, is one of the ones I talk about often, and it's the ND Yarn Company. And this is her um, Merino Yak Silk Base. On fingering weight and then um, it was just I think I think they're six millimeter beads oh it was so fun to do the beads I was nervous I had never done them before um, but it really has a great simple beautiful lace beautiful cable it incorporates all of the things and it's a beautiful um, drape on it so that it lays nice and um, you can really dress up an outfit uh, with this. Um, this was my woolen folk outfit. <laughs> You'll see me, my pictures, I'll have this outfit in and it was pretty easy. So um, yeah, that is what is um, I'm wearing today. All right, let's see. So let's talk about what's off my needles. And the first thing that's off my needles is my Sunday morning wrap. Bias Bus Chico. Love them guys. Okay, are you ready? It's big. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it is so, so, so soft. And it's long, like, I don't even think my long wingspan can expand how long it actually is. It is really, really, really dreamy. Um, I cannot believe what blocking did for this. It really, really opened it up nicely. What a great pattern. Um, I had a, a viewer comment that this was her version of a um, half and half wrap that she had done. I think she was on her third one. And I can honestly see why it is um, a, really a mindless, a nice knit. Let me take this off. It um, very relaxing knit. It just so long. 
I'm going to wrap it up this way first so you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So pretty. So pretty. Um, so I, now that I'm doing the podcast, I'll be able to stick this on my chair in the morning and have it with my um, morning coffee. But I do feel like, you know, you could wear it the other way too and, and um, you know, get some good yummy wrapped around your neck if you wanted. It's pretty bulky, but it's so soft and cozy. And, oh, this would be a beautiful um a beautiful gift for somebody but I'm not giving this one <laughs> this one's mine I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy it all winter long anyway stop busting with it so you guys I've already talked about this a lot but I'm just gonna um, give you a reminder and this was the yarn from the yarn store I went to in Saugerties New York and it's their own brand and it's called the perfect blend I had 28 grams left and I um, did not have the required yardage that was in the pattern uh, I think it was like 782 yards or something like that and my skein was 600 yards so I had to do one less um, one less repeat on this and um, I wasn't unhappy with that. It was a lot of stitches all the way across. Here I am with the wraps again. What is it with wraps? I didn't think I was a wrap girl, but apparently I am. Um, it's Michelle's fault for Mullins and Nosh. She started the whole wrap adventure. But yeah, I really like it. It came out good and it's very soft and very um, almost luxurious. And I think that you could uh, truly dress up uh, an outfit with this, too, if you really wanted to. It'd be nice with the brooch or um, one of those shawl cuff things. So, yes, I was so happy to have it off the needles, and now I, I can wrap it around me. Um, it's a nice thing to have to lay on the back of um, a sofa or your chair or whatever. Just ready for winter. <laughs> it's coming. Oh. The next thing I have off the needles, I talked a little bit about wanting to, um, I think I put this as part of my um, gift knitting ideas or thoughts or a new pattern or future of the needles and it's called the Pearl Pouch and it's by Tori Yu. And I couldn't help it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Look at this. This just has a partial cake of yarn in it just to help it um, keep it form fitted. This is so fun, you guys. Really easy. Uh, well, I say that. I honestly, the um, the top of this is a little tricky because you do have to make um, a drawstring, like a spot for the drawstring to feed through. Um, and that was a little bit tricky, but look at this edge. Isn't that cool? You can do that edge or you can just do a pearl edge. Um, and, you know, I can't give too much away. It is a paid for pattern, but that is the inside. And these are I-cords um, for the drawstring. So I messed up because um, you were supposed to start with a U.S. size 3 needle and... Um, I read the directions wrong, I guess. Anyway, you, you start with a three and go up to a five, and I ended up starting with a five. And to be honest with you, I don't think I have a three. Remember, I had that trouble the last time, and this is the bottom. Isn't it cute? Um, but I'm not unhappy with the five. I mean, I think the three would have just made this, obviously, the gauge would have been a little bit different at the top, but it's still cute. Um and I just they tell you to use a contrast color for that slide pocket. And then my eye cords are that color too. It was really a unique little construction. It was kind of brilliant. <laughs> uh, I'd never done anything with this kind of a situation with the drawstring. So it was really fun. Yeah, I just have um I just have a partial, it's almost a full skein of yarn in there. Um, but yeah, it is really cute. Uh, and it would make a nice gift. I am going to say that I don't know that it's necessarily a beginner pattern. 
because there was some, you really kind of had to know what was going on on the top there. You had to, you know, do some, some things that um, not every beginner would know how to do. Um, not that you couldn't learn and, um, and figure it out, but um, this is, this yarn is from Spriggs and Stone, whom doesn't die anymore. I've had this for quite some time. It's a Merino yak. I just grabbed whatever was in my stash of, you know, a partial ball and uh, away I went. But so this is the smaller size. There are two other sizes. And, um, and this is a fingering weight. It's fingering weight held single to begin and then you hold it double to, um, to complete the bottom portion but yeah it really what a really great construction it's put a lot of thought into this so um the pattern actually calls for linen quill pearl soho and um i didn't have any of that i know i know don't yell at me everybody has linen quill i haven't experienced that yet i don't know that i really want to um, do a half and half wrap. Not that that's the only thing you can use it for, but that's what most people use that linen quilt for. But anyway, so this was kind of a cool little thing. And uh, it, this would be such a sweet little gift for your knitting buddy. Somebody who would really appreciate the work that went into it. Didn't take too, too long, but nevertheless, it, it um, you know, it, everything that you put time into, it's just so cute. It'd be a great, um, so it is a single skein in here. I don't know that you could fit a knitting project in there too. Um, all I can think of is stick a roll of toilet paper in it. <laughs> it's so bad, but be a great little notions pouch or whatever, you know? So yeah, that was the pearl pouch. Then um, I forgot to say that I link everything down below. So I'll link my, uh, my project page on my Ravelry page and I'll link to the pattern. So, all right, that was my, what, second item? Okay, let's see what else I have. So the next thing I did, that's off my needles, um, was a kit that I got and um, it is this little coaster. This is from Heidi and Lana, it's called Cypress. And it was a kit. It came with all um, all the colors needed to do this project. And I just finished mine, so I still have it on a blocking mat. But I wanted to show you it anyway. Um, this was a fun little knit. And um, again, you know, would make a great little gift knit. Sorry for the blocking mat. I didn't think you guys would care. Um, I wasn't really sure how, what I did here. I mean... It's color work, and so I don't have a lot of experience, as you guys know, with color work. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's really pretty cute, and I think I'm just being judgmental on myself, and it doesn't matter because I like it. Um, so the yarn that was in this kit was her Homestead DK, which is 100% Merino. And this is her tag, Heidi and Lana. Um, and this... If I can get these, <laughs> get all of them. This is the kit, and um, I don't know how many you can make out of this kit, but I would imagine a few more. You have to split the white because you have to work both sides of the Christmas tree, so um, I don't know how much. But anyway, it was a fun little knit, and I um, I hope to make another one or two of these to make a great little gift. I'll probably give one to my mama. She would really appreciate that. She doesn't need anything, so it's hard to make her things. <laughs> but I still like to give her things. So yeah, Heidi and Lana, and it was a kit. You can go on her website. I'll link her information um, down below so that you can find that. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute, like a little mug rug. Yeah, so cute idea, really cute idea. She also had a fall one with a pumpkin in the middle of it, so. Maybe next year I'll have to do that. So yeah, so that was my uh, third off the needle. I mean, not anything real big or impressive, but a finished object nonetheless. So yeah. Okay, let's talk about what's on my needles. 
first thing I wanted to talk about is my sweater, which I um, talked about in my last episode. And this is my first color work sweater. I haven't done this before. This is um, called Blizzard, and it's by Jessica McDonald. And here it is. Yay! Oh my gosh. This has been the funnest thing. What a great first time color work pattern. Um, it was not a hard chart. There were no long floats, so I didn't have to catch any floats on this. And I just love it. So I got through the entire yoke and I do have both my sleeves done. So now I am just working on um, round and round on the body. I just finished up the sleeve yesterday, so I'm anxious to get back to um, the body and get this baby off so I can wear it. I did try it on. It's a it's a little has a little bit more positive ease than I'd like it to, but um, I think I'm going to um, do some decreases under the um, a little bit under the arms so that will help it out. Um, so the yarn I'm using is from Barrett Woolco, and it is her Wisconsin woolen spun. And the main color is Quaker Gray, which is here. Really nice yarn. This is a sport weight. I don't, I think I said that. Um, and the contrast color is um, the color Birch, which is just a, a white. So it, um, it's really coming along nice. So I used size five for the ribbing. And then I went up to you. US size seven to start the sweater. And then I did go up a needle size. I went up to an eight to um, to do the color work. There's a little bit of puckering, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, and then I dropped back down to a seven for uh, the body and a seven for the sleeves. So uh, I can't wait to wear this. This is gonna be so nice. Um, I know what you're thinking. Are you thinking it? Here's my floats. Yay. Oh my gosh. I really have had so much fun with this. You guys were, um, were fun with my floats. You thought they were wicked good too, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you'll be probably so happy to have this sweater gone so you don't have to keep hearing about my floats. <laughs> but I think it's going to be really nice. I, um, I'm anxious, 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 but it, you know, body island. I like to do my sleeves first though. And I do that because it just, when you're done, um, when you're done with the body, you're done. You don't have two sleeves to tackle. And I like doing them because um, you don't have so much bulk and so much weight in your lap when you're trying to, um, you know, go round and round on your sleeves. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I might have to do something else in color. Well, technically, my little coaster I just showed you is color work. So look at me getting all fancy up in here. <laughs> all right. So that is my blizzard. And I know. There they are. I can hear it. I can hear you guys saying, show them again. Here I am again. <laughs> All right. All right, let me see what else I can find. All right, so this is an additional cast on. Um, I just cast these on yesterday because um, I need to um, I need to have an alternative project to my sweater. I do have um, a secret project going as well, uh, which I can't show because uh, it's a secret. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I'm doing. This is. Um, the world's simplest mittens. This is tin can knits. And um, it's a great pattern. It's a free pattern. It's part of their beginner series. And I um, cast one on for Annabelle's little sister, Eloise. And so here it is. Isn't it cute? I, um, I am using mini skeins and mohair held together. Ooh, look at that. So I'm hopeful that they're gonna fit her. Um, 
Eloise has been begging for some socks, but she's fussy about socks. And I, if they have a little bump or a lump in them, a commercial brand sock, then she doesn't want to wear them. So she's begging me for socks, but I'm reluctant because they take too much work to have her say, oh, I don't like them or this is poking me. <laughs> so anyway, I decided to, to do some mittens. So this is just mini skeins held together with uh, mohair. And I saw this, uh, Polka Dot Creek was posting these on their Instagram. They actually have kits for them, but I thought this was a good way to um, use up some mini skeins because God knows I have a few mini skeins in my life. So let's see if I can do this without, hmm, it's kind of a mess, sorry. Okay, here they are. So these are what I'm using. And boy, this hardly takes anything at all. It really, um, really doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I had one other color um, that went in as part of it. Um, and I held it together with, sorry for all my knitting needles here. Um, I held it together with just a um, blush color mohair, which is, um, I think this is from the Autumn Acorn when she used to dye and sell a little bit more. So um, they're very girly girl, and that is Eloise all the way. She uh, is going to love these. I can't get over how Eloise they are. And I did, like I said, I did make the cuff a good good length. Um, I started off doing one size and kind of had to fudge it because I felt like they were going to be too big. So this is kind of a prototype, and um, hopefully it will fit her. And if it doesn't, it's a great example uh, a great sample to have uh, in my collection. So I'm going to make the twin to this and then I'm going to cast on a pair, another pair for Annabelle because she needs it and their brother, um, the older brother Blake also probably. So I can get some of these done for them for the winter. These should be pretty warm um, because it is mohair. So it's fingering weight and mohair held together. So I did the DK version. Um, I'm pretty sure that she's going to be so happy. Not socks, but <laughs> I think that this will suffice and fill the void. Um, and she'll be happy. So, yeah, that was a really fun thing. Boy, these go really, really fast. I used, um, size needles. Uh, I used a size three to, um, for the ribbing and then a five for, um, the main portion of the, mitten and I used my um, gingers which is uh, wooden wooden needles these are nice they have a nice slick finish I really like them um, my husband bought me a set of these my first interchangeable needle set so yeah that worked out really really good so that is that all right, and the last thing that I can show that I have on my needles is in a bag and this is from Little Robin Cottage, whom I love. She's got an Etsy shop. She makes some really, really nice bags. Um, she always has a nice little handle on them. This has a, a nice lining and a D-ring for your progress keepers. These are very well made. I have several of these bags. Um, and so it's in this bag is my next whip. And it's a pair of socks. Can you guess who they're for? <laughs> for my Annabelle. So she came and visited me and she picked out some yarn. Whoop. And I just, um, I just got them started, but look at this yarn. Let me see if I can get my hands on this a little bit better, sorry. So this, Look at it, so many colors in it. So this is a DK weight yarn. Oh, I, yeah, look at that. So many colors, beautiful. Um, it looks so different skeined up compared to in a ball. Here it is. Look at, my gosh, this is divine absolutely divine beautiful colors no wonder she picked that right 
So this is by um, a girl and her wool. And it's this color is Iron Sharpens Iron. The DK weight, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And um, I just I just read this morning on this girl's Instagram feed that she's no longer gonna be dying yarn. What a shame. What a shame. Because this is beautiful. So I um I have a project, I will have a project page for this, but I cast on 40 stitches, 10 rounds of two by two, 10 rounds of um, regular knit, heel flap and gusset, and then um, six and a half inches on the foot. This is a US three, that's what I use for my DK weight socks. And um, Annabelle's Anson for these, she just loves her socks, she wears them a lot. And um, boy, that is just the best, the best, the best, the best. So yeah, yeah, I could, I couldn't get over this yarn. I really, really couldn't. It, I never saw so many colors in one, in one. Look at these browns and muddy greens and turquoise. I mean, it really is phenomenal. Yeah. So that is. Um, those are Annabelle's socks, and of course, she picked out this project bag she, and wound the yarn because I let her wind it, and she knows how now. So, yeah, these are really nice project bags. You should check her out. I don't think she has this particular fabric because this was last year's, but um, she does have some beautiful project bags. Like I said, I have quite a few of them. So, yeah, so she's on Etsy, and you can check her out. All right, let's see what else we have. All right, and speaking of Annabelle, um, I have a, a book here, and it's a little different, but it's still on topic for yarn, and it is called Extra Yarn, and uh, Annabelle bought me this book, and it is a story about a little girl who finds a box of yarn of all colors, and she knits herself a sweater, and then there's still yarn left over, so she knits a sweater for herself, uh, for her parents, and for it ends up knitting and knitting and knitting. And this box never runs out of yarn, so uh, hence the title, extra yarn. Uh, and inevitably, um, she just keeps knitting and knitting for all of the townspeople, and uh, the box of yarn gets um, stolen, and. Um, she ends up in the end getting it back or whatever. But anyway, my point being that the star of this book, get to that page, is here. The illustrations are really cute. The little girl's name is Annabelle, who's the star of this book. So I, I was so touched when she brought me this. I almost cried <laughs> because she was so excited to find a book that had yarn in it. And then when she ever opened it up and it saw that it was Annabelle was the star of the show. Cutest little book. Really, really a sweet, um, a sweet read and um, a cute little story. Not uh, not too long either. So yeah, super fun. So I thought I would share that with you because I talk a lot about Annabelle and the yarn and how she loves the yarn. Just thought that that was the sweetest thing. So fun stuff right there. <laughs> Alrighty, I do have a few things that I have acquired along the way, of course. Um, I was watching a podcast, let's see, it was the Knitter's League, and Julie on there um, showed one of these project, uh, one of these products, and so I went and ordered one. So this is it, and it is a pattern pocket which is really cool. You can just slide your pattern right in and right out of it and it helps keep it nice and then it folds up and you can pop it in your project bag. But the other thing that 
um, I didn't realize was that this folds back on itself. All right, let me see if I can do this. And then you have it as a triangle and it will stand up on the table for you. So I thought that that was really, really cool. Um, this is so well made. It's probably kind of hard to see because it's... This is the maker. I'm going to show you her card. This is so nice, you guys. So nice. All right, and here's her card. So it's Cottontail Farm. And um, they have an Etsy shop, and that is where I found it. Uh, really nice, nicely made. And um, I don't know, I just really like it. It, I thought it would make a lovely gift for... Uh, for someone and it doesn't just have to be knitting patterns I mean you certainly could use it for any pattern cross stitch pattern embroidery pattern anything so yeah it uh, it's really really nice it's really quality made oh yeah look at the fun fabric on the inside look at this fabric so cute so she did a really nice job so anyway I just thought I would share that and um, Thank you to Julia, the Knitter's League, for getting me into trouble. <laughs> All right, let me see what else I got. Okay, the next thing that I purchased is also from an Etsy shop. Um, and this is a yarn company that I heard about. I, I'm not even really sure. I don't remember where I heard it from. But um, they rec uh, the person, whoever was talking about it, was highly recommending it. So I decided to give them um, a chance and see what it was all about. And the company is Coats & Co. And this is her cottage sock. And it is 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 447 yards. And this color is, good question, there's no color name on it. <laughs> I believe it's, um, it's a mossy green, which is really, really pretty. So this particular yarn is a little more rustic than some of the other sock yarns. And um, I like it. I feel like it's going to make a rugged pair of socks. So I got that and then, sorry for the crinkling, I bought this set. This is her mini skein set. It's Autumn Tonals. It's 140 grams and it is 623 yards and on her fingering weight, same base. Um, 20 grams gains, 89 yards each. Superwash and nylon combo. Yeah, I don't know. I just really liked the colors, and so I try and um, I try and spend my money with the little people because they matter. And if we want all of these people to stick around and stay in business, then we need to support them. So yeah, that was a really nice purchase. These are beautiful. It's really kind of hard to show them on. Um, on camera and through the bag, but I didn't want to take them out because yeah, I would just drop them anyway. <laughs> so that was one thing. And then I went to my local yarn store yesterday, which is um, in Concord, New Hampshire, and it's called The Elegant You. And um, I like to support them as much as I can. Um, I was on a mission to find some yarn to make um, a hat for my grandson, so I um, ended up getting other things, of course. <laughs> but this is what I purchased. It's uh, Plymouth Yarns Encore. And you know, I like to uh, find some of these little bit more user-friendly yarns, if you will, for the kids. Um, yeah, really nice. It's got a whole bunch of colors in it. So this is 
75% acrylic, 25% wool, 100 grams, 200 yards. And it just has a color number. It's 7807. Um, but I, you know, I've used this yarn before and this is a great yarn for kids. Um, it's pretty machine washable, even though it's got some wool in it. It does say machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble dry on low, which that is huge because it's hard to find yarns that you can do that with. So, um, yeah, so I will have to find a hat to cast on for Blake. Yay. For, for I think for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know, the Christmas list keeps getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of that. All right, and the other um, yarn I purchased is this. This is from West Yorkshire Spinners. It's their Color Lab DK. It is 100% British wool and uh, self-striping. So it has 245 yards on 100 grams, and um, I don't really have a I don't really have a mission for this. Uh, I know that Annabelle's gonna love it because these are definitely her colors. Uh, so I know it's 100% wool, and that's not necessarily great for socks, but um, you know maybe I'll do some mittens, maybe mittens, yeah. Maybe I'll add some mohair and do some mittens with that. That would be kind of cool. But I just got it because I know Annabelle will love it. And um, she needs to have choices when she comes to the yarn cave. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the other thing. And then I purchased two other skeins. And this is from a company called Friendly Products. And it's their Variations DK. It's 100% Superwash Merino. And I got this because I like the Christmas colors. It is 100% Superwash. So again, not necessarily great for socks, but I might do it anyway. Um, sometimes I will use 100% Superwash and then I will use some, um, a mini skein that has some nylon in it for heels, toes, and cuffs. But this color is called Portentious Peridot. This is really nice and soft. Did I say what it was? Oh yeah, 100% superwash. So it's 254 yards on 100 grams. And then this is showing much, much brighter on the screen. It is more of a deep burgundy color. Very, very nice. So I just needed to have a couple of Christmas colors in my stash. I don't really have a whole lot of Christmas colors. I don't really want a whole lot, but I um, I really liked this color combination together. So yeah, that was what I got. And then I got one more thing, but I'm not sure what happened to it. <laughs> so hold on. Okay, and then the last thing I purchased was um, a set of stitch markers. They always have the nicest stitch markers at my yarn store. And um, I don't know who these are by, but it doesn't matter. They're at the checkout counter and they're a great impulse buy. <laughs> I am, I'm a big fan of nice reindeer and this is a really nice one. So I purchased these for myself. I should be giving them as a gift, but I'm not gonna. I don't have to. <laughs> so yeah, that was a fun little extra just for myself. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of snowflakes on there too. They're so pretty. I like these ones because the rings on them aren't super, super huge. Sometimes you get them and the rings are so big. So uh, yeah, those will go on one of my Christmas castons. Yeah, so that was the last thing that I bought at the yarn store. Well, I had some super fun thing come in the mail this week, and uh, I was absolutely blown away by this, and um, it was not necessary, but it was so super appreciated. So if you watched a few episodes back, you know that I did, um, I did a sample knit wrap for Michelle of Woolens and Nosh, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, she was adamant about... Um, you know, making sure that I had 
you know, some sort of compensation for doing that. I didn't want anything. I was just doing it for the thrill of it. Really, I was. And I meant that wholeheartedly. But she was insistent. And so she um, made me choose. <laughs> and so I chose a DK base. But um, And this is what I chose. This is Michelle from Woolens and Nosh. This is her Squishy DK, which is 100% Superwash Merino. And this is her Mexican hot chocolate colorway. It is really, really beautiful. Very, very squishy, as was the, the what I did with her um, for the wrap. But you guys, oh my goodness, I cannot even. So this is a sweater quantity of this yarn. It is fabulous. It is crazy, crazy beautiful. I, um, I am just in love with it. I cannot wait to cast on. Um, I, I think that I talked about, I can't remember if I talked about it or not, but there's a, a cardigan. It's called the Whitmore cardigan that I'm contemplating doing, but if anybody has any suggestions for a DK weight sweater, I would love, love, love to hear. But a uh, huge, huge thank you to Michelle. Love you, girl. This is um, more than I ever, ever imagined. And um, it was not necessary, but I love it so much. So I can't wait to, um, to do a gauge swatch and figure out like I said, if anybody has any suggestions for a DK weight sweater, leave it in the comments and I will check them out. I love, um, I love hearing other people's thoughts on patterns and what, um, you know, what you guys suggest. So, um, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. And then I have a couple other things that, uh, I received in the mail and one of them is... Yay, an advent calendar. Oh, I'm so excited to crack into these. So this is from Firefly Notes and um, it's stitch markers. So it's just, just poke through and yeah, a stitch marker a day, which is so fun. Yeah. Um, honestly, I can't remember who I ordered this from. Oh, I feel bad, but it's great. Um, I don't know if I can figure out, remember where I ordered that from. I don't know that there are any more, um, any more left, but yeah, Firefly Notes. They make some uh, nice other things. I actually went and checked out their website. It's pretty nice. And then my other fun adventy thing is from Polka Dot Creek. And I'm not going to open anything, but I am going to show um, what's in the outside box. This is the outside box. And so if you don't, if you got this, this is a 12, I think it's a 12 day advent. If you got this and don't want to see, then please look away. <laughs> Because I don't want to spoil for anybody. There's nothing. I can't see anything. But isn't it cute? It's these 12 little boxes to open. And then there's some um, other goodies down in here. I haven't fidgeted around too much. I just opened to take a quick peeky peek to see what it was all about. So yeah, super cute. Um, I tried to be a good girl and not get too carried away with, um, with Advents. But I didn't have much success in that department. <laughs> so I did get one other one. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to open this one. I don't know. I got, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a four skein advent. <clears throat> Sorry. From Woolen Woman Fibers. Woolen Women Fibers, and um, they're out of New Jersey, and it's a full skein every Sunday in December. And um, I've never done that kind before, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then my final thing, I know this is a little over the top, but um, Instagram got me this weekend, and there's a company called Palmer Yarn Company, 
she has the most beautiful yarns. Uh, this is an MCN, so 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, 400 yards, 100 grams. Um, and this is her moss colorway. It's kind of got like a halo to it. This is the most beautiful yarn. Very, very nice and soft. And I saw her post on Instagram that she was shipping out her advent calendars. And I didn't order one. So I messaged her and said, any chance you got any more? Because <laughs> I love her yarn so much. And she only does updates occasionally. And she said that she didn't have any more fingering, but that she had a DK weight. <sighs> you know me, I love DK. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so that is on its way to me. Naughty, naughty, naughty. So um, my husband and I do not exchange Christmas presents. So he is totally good with me doing these kind of things. It's a little reckless and I, um, you know, I don't want anybody to think I'm the richest girl on the face of the planet or that I'm exuberant, but um, it really is a lot of fun to do the advents. I wish I could do Vlogmas, but I'm not going to do Vlogmas. Uh, I will enjoy watching some. And so that is all of the acquisitions. And that certainly is, uh, uh, certainly is enough. Alrighty, I thought I would just share a couple of patterns that kind of had my eye. Um, I printed these off, but I did not print them in color. Um, this is a newer release, I think, and this is called the Library Sweater. It's really um, a very simple sweater, but it's done in DK with mohair held together. I really, really, really like the neck on this one. I like how it falls. Uh, just a basic raglan, so nothing too fancy, in DK held with mohair. This is... Um, Designed by Lily Reed of Judith and Lily. Yeah, the library sweater. And their version was done in Sonder Yarn Company. But I um, I do not know. I have a couple of sweater quantities of yarn. And uh, I'm not sure which ones I will be using to do this. And this is, you know, a future knit. I have so many sweaters to knit <laughs> um, because I I want to talk a little bit about our love note knit along so many people are starting to contact me about that so I'm going to have to make a hashtag and um, we, we're just going to do it over on Instagram and um, then I don't have to fire up a Ravelry group right now like I said it's just a little bit chaotic here with uh, the holidays are coming up I mean Thanksgiving is like next week <laughs> It doesn't even seem possible. And then Christmas will come rapid fire right after that. So um, I'm not really ready to open a Ravelry group yet, but I will do uh, a hashtag on Instagram and I got to figure out what I'm actually going to make for that hashtag. And then you can use that to post your um, either your progress or your finished objects. So that's the love note knit along and that's for New Year's Day. That's our cast on. So um I will have more details linked down below too. All right. And this is the other thing that I thought was kind of cool. This is the um, waterfall loafers. These are a chunky yarn. And um, I don't know if I'm going to make them or not, but I thought that they were kind of cool. They make a nice, great slipper. Um, it was just something that I came across and I thought they looked pretty nice. Um, yeah, and this is a pattern by Verily Knits, and she uses Malabrigo Chunky, but I thought that those were kind of cute. It was a paid-for pattern, and um, they looked a little sturdier than some other slippers, but if anybody has any slipper ideas also, um, let me know down in the comments, because... Um, I'm always looking for things like that. Um, you know, the grandkids, they 
uh, don't care what you make them, they're happy with it. So uh, slippers are a nice option sometimes. So if you have any, then um, leave me a comment with some suggestions. Alrighty, I think I am going to leave it here and um, wrap it up. Nothing really new on the home front, but like I said, there's a lot of busy stuff coming up and I have a stretch of um, working a lot here up until Thanksgiving and um, so it's busy, busy, busy and I like it that way. I mean, that's that's awesome. It, it helps keep me... Um, on the move and not just sitting around doing nothing because my job is usually seasonal and um, but we do a lot for Thanksgiving so I'm looking forward to that and that will start off um, at the end of this week in rather rapid fire form and it'll be every day all day so um, I don't know how much knitting time I'll have but that's okay uh, but I am working on some gifts Christmas gifts that I you know can't necessarily show because I don't want the recipients to um to see them so uh, i'll just keep on keeping on all right everybody until the next time thank you so much um i did want to say uh thank you to all of the people who have subscribed and everybody who has watched the video i've gotten a lot uh, more subscribers and we're well on our way and um you know, we'll probably have to do a giveaway or something here when we start to climb any more. The, the numbers are getting big. I don't really remember where I'm at at this point. But anyway, thank you so much again to everybody who has watched, subscribed, liked. If you enjoyed this podcast today, please feel free to do so again. And I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye.